Hi everyone, I'm Leona Meyer. I'm Megan Gilson. And we'll be performing for you today. Total phosphate, so put on your safety goggles. <laughs> to start off with our wonderful setup today, you'll need a base for your, for your total phosphates. You'll need a pole to fully hold the ring clamp. This handy dandy little thing will go right on top of there, making sure that the white circle is right on the ring. Next, you want your Bunsen burner about, let's see, eight inches from the base of it to the bottom of the heating part. Make sure that your hose is firmly attached to the gas line because we do not want a gas leak. Making sure your square mixing bottle is clean. Pipe pet 20 milliliters of river water into your square mixing bottle and pour into a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Open one potassium persulfate powder pillow, adding to the Erlenmeyer flask, making sure that all the particles get into the flask. Next, swirl, making sure that it's evenly distributed. Add two milliliters of sulfuric acid solution by twice filling the dropper pipette to the one milliliter mark. In order to start the heating procedure of this project, you'll need to make sure that your Bunsen burner is giving off gas. Now make sure that to turn the gas off when you're done, of course. Light it up. Yeah. Adding your Erlenmeyer flask to the top to make sure that the flame is touching the bottom of the liquid. Boil the sample for 30 minutes and keep adding distilled water so you can reach the 20 milliliter line, making sure it doesn't fall under. And make sure you followed all steps before adding all contents so you're just not boiling water for 30 minutes. Turn your Bunsen burner off, retrieving your Erlenmeyer flask and letting it cool for two to three minutes. <laughs> Add two milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution, twice filling the dropper to the one milliliter mark. When transferring the liquid from the Erlenmeyer flask to the sample bottle, you can attempt using these tongs like our dear friend Aaron Nielsen, or you can use it with your hands, making sure that it's at least up to the 20 milliliter. If not, add distilled water to make sure that it is full. Open one Phosphor 3 Phosphate Reagent Powder Pillow, pour in here, and swirl to mix using Grandpa's toenail clippers to open it up. Once all the contents are inside, swirl to mix for two to 10 minutes until you see a color change. If phosphate is present, a blue color will show up. Fill your newly blue liquid to the top line of your test tube bottle, making sure to get it all in. Place in the right hole. Grab the other one, fill with river water, Insert the untreated water or the river water into the left hole facing me and the blue one into the right hole. Go up to a light source and view from the front, making sure the tops of the tubes are facing vertical. Keep rotating until you find the matching color. Read the concentration of the measured parameter through the scale window. The number selected at the bottom of the wheel will be the number used for your charting. Divide the reading from your comparator by 50. Then you'll get the answer, and that is your answer to this lab. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you had a great time. Use your final value that you calculated to get your Q value for your sheet. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Leona Meyer. I'm Megan Gilson. And you're joining us here today on the Apes Network. Today we'll be talking to you about phosphorus. Well, phosphorus is usually present in natural waters, such as the local river here in Grafton, Wisconsin. Phosphorus is an essential part of life, and we are lucky to have a low phosphorus count here in Grafton, Wisconsin. Now, if there's high phosphorus in the local waterways, that can give way to an algal bloom, which is absolutely awful for the plants and animals of our local waterways. You heard it here first. No, 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 no. It's fill the mixing bottle to turn the link with water. Shut your burning bunsen. <laughs> <laughs> when transferring the liquid inside the Erlenmeyer flask to the square sample bottle, make sure that you firm. 
I'll make sure that you firmly grasp. <laughs> Compare the two samples. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with the Apes Network Report upon <laughs> Coming in.